my dad bought this camp. And I was 16 years old, we left Cochrane's again. We moved back down here to Ruby area. And uh, my mom said it was like coming home for her when we got here. And I was really happy to see that there's a culture camp going on here because it brought back be beautiful memories of me growing up here. Really good memories. Everything we did here was fun. I like the idea of uh, bringing all these kids here and teaching them our culture and uh, traditional ways, how we how we survived off the land and stuff like that years, years ago, how it was in my time when I was a kid. Yeah, Sainan, it hasn't been around here before and it recently got uh, legalized and I've been teaching my family and my girlfriend and um, the kids around her how to sane and how to properly do it, do fishing and it's been really fun. So it's so exciting when you get those kings and you know it's like you now you realize that you're putting food on the table for your family and that's that's a good feeling. Hi my name is Chester Greenway. I'm at Culture Camp. I like fishing and playing hopscotch and jumping across the creek. I like I like seeing around the campfire with all the kids and hearing all their stories. And we're teaching the kids how to fish. Uh, we cut half of it and the student cut the other half. And I learned how to cut fish when I was like seven years old with a uh, white fish. We, we uh, scaled it and split it and scored it. Uh, we were never allowed to use a good fish to work on, to practice, and uh, I think the students did really good. I like learning to cut from the elder. Um, it was slimy, but it was also really, really fun at the same time. Yeah, everybody's around firearms all the time, so everybody know a little bit about safety for firearms. What's the, anybody tell me what the first rule of firearms is? First rule of firearms: all guns are always loaded. Doesn't matter where you see anything you look at; all guns are always loaded. The second rule: you had it. Never point at anything you're not willing to destroy. Third rule of firearms. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. You're on target and you're ready to fire. Fourth rule of firearms is you never pull the trigger unless you are aware of everything around you, what your target is, and what's beyond your target. So know what you're shooting at. And for you younger kids, what, what's the number one rule for firearms for you, if you see one? Don't touch it, correct. What do you do if you see a firearm laying around somewhere? Tell an adult, correct. In the forest, there's pretty much a medicine for every element we have, the different plants we have. But I also wanted to make them aware that there's poisonous plants out there that even just uh, touching it to your tongue can be deadly poisonous. So I wanted to make sure that they knew that. A lot of plants have toxins in them to protect themselves against animals or being eaten, so they become poisonous. So the importance of knowing these plants, if you're out camping and say you have a stomach ache, you can go out and get some mint tea and cure your stomach ache. If you're coming down with the flu, you may be able to relieve it by making uh, uh, stinkweed tea. Uh, if you have an infection, maybe you've cut your hand and it starts becoming infected, you could take the pine pitch and relieve the infection and even the pain. If you have a serious headache, you can go out and get willow bark and relieve your headache. So those are some of the, the things that you can do with the uh, plant medicines in our area. 
I can go on and on and on with all the different plants and their, their medicinal values and even food values.